loved working with Robert, yes. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Oh, look, the, the butterflies are moving. Every one of these pieces are such a surprise. There is an entire world when you move from one to the next to the next. Um, I think that's what the absolute thrill and surprise is. Um, I'm Robert Wilson. I'm an artist, and I work in different media. I work in opera and theater, design furniture, make drawings, and sculpture. And when should I be at the studio? And what is, what is the next shoot after that? The idea for the portraits was to shoot an ensemble of people that are a reflection of the times in which we live. If I got this darker here, mm -hmm. we start really dark, almost mm -hmm. like a negative image. Yeah. The, the subjects are doing this really to work with Bob Wilson. You know, there are no fees, there are no contracts. They're doing this just to collaborate with him and participate in the project. And a lot of these treatments, they take risks with the ideas and with the subjects, probing who they are. Gao Zhang is a Nobel Prize winner for literature from China. He lives in France. He walked out of China, literally walked across China and out. Gao has an interior intensity. Once I saw him, I, I felt that in this face there's so many stories. So I wanted to get in very close to his face and just look at his face. Princess Caroline has been an admirer of Bob's work for some time and has attended a number of his theatrical productions. Song Wong, Chinese book. Yeah, to see the structure. Princess Carolina, she to me is a real princess. She is a striking woman that has an innate sense of herself, her body. I was once walking down a staircase with her and I said, wow, you walk so erectly. She said, it's because of my mother. She told me when she was a little girl that her mother used to put a book on top of her head and have her walk up and down a staircase. And look a little higher. And down just a little bit with the chin. Stop. Well, we've been trying to do it for a long time now. I think it's been like over a year, but the schedules didn't work. Sometimes when he was here, he was, I was out of town. I've seen his work throughout the years. He knows I'm a big fan. He always takes the imagination some somewhere new and takes you with it. That was enough for me, you know. And lift the fingers of your left hand a little bit. That's it. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. And look now, yeah. It's just lovely to just sit here and listen. Full direction. <laughs> look to the right, to the left. Move your head. They're very simple. Very subtle. Now take your left hand down. Let's see. My God, stop, 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 stay right there. There, the light's beautiful on your neck. I mean, we can't get a bad picture. <laughs> okay, great. <clears throat> let's continue. Well, I think in making a portrait, the idea can come from anywhere. It can, can be from looking at the newspaper that day, from reading a magazine. It can be from just uh, knowing the person, not knowing the person, uh, fantasizing about the person. There's no one way that I, I approach it. Hello. Star. I'm Hi. going well. How you doing? Fine. Nice to see you. We're doing this. Right oh, of course. Now. Here I am. <laughs> Getting paled out. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. And I said, this is why I do this for a living, is for the makeup. <laughs> okay. I heard him on Larry King Live. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, suddenly I had a completely different uh, impression of this child. Uh, he wasn't a real child, but he was, uh, spoke very intelligently, was very strong. So I somehow thought to manifest that strength as, as a boxer. One more snarl.
my early work was uh, working very much with stillness. Uh, people either sitting or standing for long periods of time and not outwardly moving, just the inner sense of movement. Video is very different from theater. The medium is very different. The space and the time are different. Video, for the most part, is about a close-up. It's about the little movement of the eye that is the big drama. Close the eyes. Where on stage, the movements have to be bigger than life, usually. Wilson is a critical figure in the history of performance and the history of New York downtown art making in the second half of the 20th century. He doesn't fit into one category, I think. We Americans like to categorize and pigeonhole people. And, and you know, when you say Bob Wilson, it's like, well, what is he? I mean, is he a theater, a theater director, an opera director, a playwright, a set designer, video portraitist, an artist? It's like he's all over the place. He, he's really an architect of time. Um, I think he's taken that as his material and he explores it, what time and space means, what time means in all dimensions. La solitude est une condition nécessaire de la liberté. Gao came through with this beautiful sentence in French. Solitude is the necessary condition for freedom. We're going to be superimposing the text, Gauss text, over the mannequin so that we get the contours of the uh, mannequin's face and get some space and depth rather than it being a bumper sticker that's written across the screen in post-production. So that it looks as if it's appearing actually on his skin and on his face. We, we can only do this one time on the, on the mannequin, so... We're gonna make a mark on the mannequin with the guidelines. Then we're gonna take the black string off, and then he will write directly on the mannequin. When we get the confirmation from a subject like Princess Caroline, we will then go do a vast amount of research. And in her case, you know, obviously, we would look to Grace Kelly. We went back to the films of Alfred Hitchcock and this striking image of Grace Kelly with her hands behind her back from rear window. That image in our minds had resonance with the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent. Bob will then you know, center in on a particular image as a starting point. We really tried to do a 30s look, soft light. We lit her hands individually, her face individually. There's a backlight on her face that's individually from the backlight on her arm. The skirt is open on her back, so we had like a little tiny slit of light that just pulled out the skin. What's interesting, it's another meaning of still life, what, what is being done today. Um, and uh, perhaps a way of teaching people how to look at light and uh, movement in a completely different way at a different pace. And it gives you another way of analyzing, I think, movement and light. That's my impression. Usually in making a portrait, we work uh, eight to 10 hours a day or longer. The light takes a long time, and the studio work, and the preparation. The whole creative team has to be in place, and the energy of everyone coming together in a collaborative environment is important. It's another process. It's a huge crew to put this thing together. People flying in from all over the world, top in their fields. Individually, they're in great demand. Uh, our lighting designer is Orshona Baum, a longtime collaborator of Bob Wilson from Munich, uh, Germany. It is, it's very different from what I'm doing normal, because I only work as a lighting designer in theater and opera, and doing lights for film or video is a complete different setup. I try to visualize his ideas. I try to set up something that comes close. We develop it while we're rigging and finding the right colors that accommodates talent that we're shooting. Our costume designer is Kevin Santos from America. He's one of Giorgio Armani's top stylists. 
Eugene Tsai, an American, he's a set designer and artist who has worked with some of the top artists in the world. Our video engineer is J.M. Hurley, the person who really is between the camera and the recorded image. You're trying every single thing. We get to use the latest in technology. We tweak the cameras, put it through video aerobics. So pretty much utilizing every function that the camera can do. We really have to be prepared to do anything. I find it very interesting because there, there is no limit, really. You know, everybody's a little surprised sometimes what we end up with. I don't know, it's also, in, I think this is great. What I can do is check that the picture is recent and there's no more. Okay, why don't you do that? With animals, you, you never know how they're going to react. And especially an owl, which is like a night creature, is for my job is... <laughs> I don't know how much light we can put on an owl. They told me that the owls going to get sleepy if there's so much light. And we don't want to have the owl falling asleep. Well, we'll, we'll see how, how the owl is going to react. Because you never know, you can't tell the animals. Open your eyes. And is it, uh, does it become uh, calmer? Or is no. it always moving like this? Can we see the other owl? Three years. Three years. How long do they live? 60 years. 60? Yeah, 50, 60 years. So you're a baby. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You're a baby. <laughs> Which one is the calmest? I like I uh, nervous. It's the same. It's the same. No, just like that. Well, a snow owl has been a recurring image in a lot of my works. It's something I can't explain, but it's something. An image that I've always been attracted to, these, these owls that are sitting as a bird on a limb, uh, observing through the night. I just wonder if we shouldn't do something that's, I don't know. I'm not sure where we're Can we get a big stack of white paper? Uh, Kevin, to draw. Yes, but we only always have just two or three sheets. Everyone just be quiet. Maybe we do something that is not so natural. Maybe we cut holes, maybe the size of a silver dollar. I mean, maybe it's like a kind of abstract way of doing snow, but the problem is they're not just standing like this rolled. They're, they're more leaning forward. Most of these shoots start off as a sketch Noah will email around, and everyone kind of interprets the drawing and adds a little bit to it and says, well, I could do this this way, and we kind of just add little details to it until we get here, and then we try a bunch of different things, and Bob says, I love it, and we roll tape. Eugene, that looks great. Problem. White, white, flat, latex with the super fine rollers. The we need to see more. Is that good? I mean, if it's all over, I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do one white, then we're gonna do one pink, okay. and then we're gonna do one something like blue. Okay. Esther, no one is gonna come out of that door. I don't care if it's President Chirac. Look, these are beautiful. No one move. Bob needs to do a certain kind of work in a certain kind of way with a certain kind of control and a certain uh, and a certain intensity. And it's 
it's all about how he works. It's just it's simply, it's about how he works. That's, it, it's, that's his pencil, and he's going to sharpen it just the way it needs to be sharpened to make what he needs yeah. to make. That kind of intensity is exactly how Bob works, looking at it, pointing at an image, saying, no, we're doing it again. 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 And that's exactly how Bob works. Hello. Hi. Is it whiter? It's too pink. It's too pink. Yeah. Wow. No, no, no pink tones. Now let's change it with some light. It's too spotty. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that up close. This should be. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I understand. Well, not spotty. Not more. It's too busy, I think. It should be calmer. But when you work with the white, it's never the, 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 the clone white. But I use very white faces, beautifully blended, but it's not, not the clown white. Yeah. Let me talk to the, um, to the lighting guy. You know what, and then I could bring him. I think we should take a look at it on camera, but I would not lose time and go right now and get the other, because if it doesn't work, then we'd lose time. My life is very hectic, and I'm moving a lot and travel a lot. I have a meeting this afternoon with Christophe Martin, who's working with me on an installation I'm doing in Arles that will include some glass pieces that I've been working on for the past 10 years that I made in Marseille. I'm making an art installation in Italy, and I have a, a meeting with a design assistant from Milano. Then I do a casting for Quartet, a play of Heiner Müller, that I'm going to open the newly renovated Odeon Theatre here in Paris with Isabelle Huppert. And then I have uh, these video portraits that I'm making. Any conversation with Robert, he will have a pencil very quickly, even if there wasn't one there to start with, he will very quickly call for a pencil and pad and start taking you through the details of what he's thinking and seeing. I thought to do this room, if you were blind and you had to read a photograph, how would you do it? Maybe it's done like Braille. I understand. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's okay. done in a relief. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe this is all matte and this is very shiny. So it could be glossy, or it could be diamond dust, or it could be... I don't know, like a greetings card where you... I understand. Mm -hmm. You're with him and he doesn't stop for a second and he's drawing and he's talking and he's dreaming and he's edging everybody along to kind of paddle along with him or be in the current with him. So he's completely and utterly focused as a director, as a thinker, as an artist. You know, you don't lose a beat when you can catch him. Well, you know, Bob Wilson comes from a place called Waco, Texas, the heartland of the Bible Belt, and I think it was very hard for him to see himself as an artist in, in this kind of context, and so he got out as soon as he could and headed for New York like so many other creative kids from small towns around America. The community of artists was everyone from Chuck Close, uh, Jennifer Bartlett, uh, Elizabeth Murray, uh, I mean, there's a, a, a huge list, Phil Glass. I mean, a huge list of people. Robert very quickly created an environment where, I said, where others could come and work with him. There was this communal sharing of a lot of ideas, stripping things down, stripping dance down, stripping music down to very bare essentials, holding on to time and stopping it, certainly ideas about silence. Robert took it to another level. You think nothing's happening at first, and then you get caught up in the subtlety of it, and you realize just by looking at things in such a slow, steady way, a lot is revealed. Um, there's much more there than first meets the eyes. I think Bob Wilson is someone who has such an extraordinary signature. The images are very precise. and almost speak to a way of communing rather than a way of communicating.
visually, he just comes up with images that they have a kind of uh, surreal quality. It's like, you know, Magritte or, or Max Ernst or Dali. You just, they're images that just stick in your head because they're so different, you know? Winona Ryder and that pile of sand, Baryshnikov as Saint Sebastian. They're kind of unforgettable. Brad Pitt in the rain in his boxer shorts. Um, pale blue background, the, the colors, the lighting, and the, the context, it's all, like only Bob Wilson could come up with this. The picture I thought was spectacular because I, it's, a, it's a great cover for a magazine and it is a great cover for an art issue. The world has always had a fascination with the famous and um, I think that they, they, you know, they live their lives in some small way through other people. And that's not new, it's been going back centuries. It's so beautiful the, eyes, the, the eyes are so gentle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Caroline, having posed for photographs many times, she knows something about stillness. Yeah, I'm turning him. Mm. Beautiful, too. Okay, There's so many beautiful ones you can't imagine. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> yes, there <laughs> Just, just do it slow. Okay, we just hold it, if you can, and see if we get a long ash. It's perfect. We'll, we'll tell you when it gets close to your fingers. <laughs> okay, great, bravo. <laughs> can someone help her? <laughs> That's great. Try not to blink too much. Bravo. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's uh, like painting with video. Something that can be on a wall, could be in the living room, or could be in an airport, a hotel lobby, could be on a wristwatch, <laughs> could be a portrait of a dog, it could be Jean Moreau as Mary Queen of Scots. I've often said in my theater work that uh, my philosophy is closer to animal behavior than uh, human behavior. A few years ago, I was in Berlin, and I was in the zoo. And I walked to the back of the zoo just before it was closing, and there was a pack of gray wolves standing on rocks, 15, 15 wolves or so. And I stood and didn't move, and they didn't move. And they didn't turn their head and look at me. They were aware that I was there. And we stood for 10 minutes or so as one entity, as, as a pack. It's curious, even with this snow owl, you know, I don't know, his patience of just sitting there. It was a little bit like being with that pack of wolves, you know, just we were all somehow together as one entity. We try some stuff. I think it's gonna be, I hope it's gonna be okay. I just put the foundation, the white foundation on and now I'm gonna put the talc. We're okay, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks really white. Well, we're under the gun. <laughs> it's actually, it's an amazing process because it takes forever to set up, but once it sets up, we're only shooting two or three minutes. So it's fast once we get going. C'est très blanc, hein, là. Oui, c'est bien. Mais j'ai l'impression qu'il y a des différences de niveau. Non Tu vois pas des différences C'est plus bizarre. Hein? Bon, allez, let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Line now. Can you open up the aperture It should be cut off here. Yeah, I think he was in closer before. What? Look here. Christophe, here. And maybe here. And just above the eyebrow there. And to your right, there, there. Do you powder this or there, right in there, yes. For the hair, we want to get, yeah, and get this down. So let's see if we can get his head really straight. Let's 
leaning a little bit to the right. So let's get the framing and let's mark this. Let's, let's be quiet. Put everything down and just stay. No one talk. Let's get still here now. I don't want anyone moving. Chin up just a little more. Good, stop. Okay, now hold this and we're rolling. And when you want, slowly close the eyes. Slow, 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 slow. And when you want, very, very slowly open. That's it. And hold it. Okay, bravo. Great. Great. Okay, good. Perfect.